my god. I am a fuckboy. Okay, so I just recorded an hour podcast. And... <laughs> at this point, this is just funny. At this point, this is just hilarious. I just recorded an hour podcast. And the camera recorder I used to record with crashed. So that hour went. It's like, okay, well, that sucks. So what I did is I was like, that's cool. Things happen. Let's just, let's just continue on with, with another one. So I thought I hit record and followed, talked for 45 minutes straight and then ended the podcast. So I talked for an hour, crashed, just talked for 45 minutes, didn't record it. I apologize for that swear, that word I called myself, but I am one of those. Wow. Wow. This is bad. I only, I, at this point, I don't even have much time. I'm leaving university. Okay, I finished my exam at 2.30. I don't know how long this is going to be, guys. So I finished my exam at 2.30. I finished my exam at 2.30, came here, started recording at 3. Recorded, recorded till 4. Screwed that up. My mom's going to be here in like, half an hour to pick me up from university. So I don't know how long this is going to be guys. And I don't even know what the hell I'm going to talk about anymore. I, oh, oh my God. All right. P Smith 49. I, I just actually, I'm so distraught right now. Like I just had the, the, the two best episodes ever. The first one was good, but the second one was on point. It was on fleek. All right. But to drop some knowledge on you, sons, don't give up, don't quit. When when the going gets tough, you keep recording, which is what we're gonna do. Three Smith Squad podcast episode forty nine take. Gotta have a video for you guys. So um, I just finished first year university. Well, it's two hours ago now, but it still just finished first year university, and um, I kind of wanted to talk about some of that stuff. So as you can see, my room is dead. Like look at this, look at this. There's no, there's no soul left in my room. Wall, wall, we got this. And then we got like, just dead. It just, it just, there's nothing in here. Like, if you see my room before in videos or on Twitter or whatever, my room was awesome. It was fun, I liked my room. And now it's just, it's just gone and sad and, and there's just not much left, which is really sad. I, it's been like, I've seen everyone kind of leaving, right? Everyone just throughout the last like like week, everyone's been leaving school. All the friends I've met have been gone. It's really sad, man. It's really sad to see all these people leaving. Like <laughs> yesterday, was the, uh, yesterday was the hardest day. So like, it's like probably, I would say like two of the best friends I've made here this year, like they left yesterday and Saying bye to them sucked, but the thing that was worse about it was seeing their empty rooms once they were gone. That was the hardest thing is like, there was so much character in that room and it was just such a nice place of comfort and you go to talk and, and like have a great time. And just seeing like, for example, one girl I became really good friends with this year, she, um, like she had all these pictures on her wall and they were always really cool to look at, just like experience she had in life. and just a really like nice room and just like really comfortable and like you just like talk and like we always just, we had a lot of talks in there it was nice like about good things bad things if we needed you know just really supportive atmosphere really safe really safe zone and like just to see that gone is sad just i walked in when she was gone like she let her door open and just i was walking by and just to look in and just see a bare room now is like wow that is man <laughs> It's crazy to think how every single one of these rooms, like this room, this building for, for that matter, has been around for like 40 years. So there's been 40 different people living in here. Maybe, I guess less than 40 probably. Let's say 35 people living in here. And to see them all leave, you know, and to, to think about them all leaving rather, and to think about how many experiences have been made here, how many, how many friends have been made in here, relationships started, virginities lost perhaps, like... Crazy, crazy experiences have gone down here. And I know I've had some crazy experiences in here. A couple like 
five stones now. Um, but like really, realistically, like just a lot of awesome nights where I just like hang out with good people or just like successful moments, happy moments. And I'm leaving this room next year. I'm actually going down to second floor in this building. So it's not that bad, but just to see everyone leaving and like the characters sucked from that room is, is really sad. It's really sad. It's really, it's really disheartening. This was full when I started, I just want to say. Oh, God. Um, anyway, so I'm done my first year of university. And I was saying now for the third time, <laughs> it's it's really awesome just to see how much I've grown in the last eight months. I came here not the most confident, not the, uh, I would say I was a pretty hardworking guy, but not as hard as I working as I am now, not the smartest not the ex most experienced and although I'm still 19 and I'm an idiot and I accept that I've grown so much as a person it's it's awesome it, I'm really happy with myself just to see like how much how much I've grown really is is what it comes down to I in high school I wasn't really a shy person but I, I found I, I didn't make friends I didn't make a lot of friends in high school I had a lot of friends before high school so I I just kind of hung out with my friends and it was whatever. I had a lot of friends, but I didn't make a lot of new friends. And I came here and man, I made so many friends. Like one, like just thinking like that, that way, like one, two, three over there. One, two, three, that way, like one, two, three, four, like, like just on this floor alone. Like I say, like I made like 10 plus friends, just awesome people that I could hang out with. Just great, great individuals, nice, nice human beings. And as a person, like I think, I've really kind of stepped out of my shell and become a more outgoing person. And it's something weird because a lot of people will say like, oh, you know, be yourself, right? And if you're shy, like don't try to be someone you're not and whatever. And although that's true to an extent, I don't think I fully agree. Because like, you can always be a better version of you, right? You don't have to be a different person, a different, better person, but you can be a better version of you. Like if you're a shy person, that is not really an advantageous uh, personality. And when I say shy, like super shy, you could be like a like a quiet person. And that's not bad because people like quiet people. People like listeners, right? But if you're really, really shy and like you don't go up and, up and meet people, that you're at, you are at a disadvantage. And that's how I was. And I, I kind of had to realize that, that like a big thing is people like to be comfortable. Like people like to feel comfortable. And if you're like a really shy person, it's hard to make people feel comfortable because if you're not like making them feel comfortable, they, they have no reason to feel that way, right? So for example, you go up to someone and you know, just like, hey man, like, or you just like, hey, that's like, okay, you're meeting them, but that person isn't really set at ease. And although they, they, they might be a pretty outgoing person and that doesn't bother them, like a lot of people are, but I've noticed for the most part at school, people want to meet, be made, people want to feel comfortable around you. They want you to feel, they want you to, they don't want make, they don't want you to make them. But someone who's really funny or outgoing or friendly, you can make them laugh. It, to, to put them at ease like that is a really good skill to develop. It's just like something I, I, I've, I've really noticed is it, even being funny to people. You know, you, the, the, it's amazing how much you can brighten someone's day just by being funny. As someone working like as a janitor or a meal hall here at school, just say, saying something, just a little thing that, you know, just brightens up their day. If you can make someone laugh, that is such a power. That is such a power. And that is not a talent that people were born with. That is something people develop. And there's the, there's a mindset where people, it's like, you are given a... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you are, you are given like a certain personality and that's it. And a lot of people think like you can't develop a personality, but you can be yourself, but you can, you can get better and you can improve upon things and, and you really can make yourself a better human being. You really can. And like I said, making people comfortable is a good thing. And being able to make people laugh is huge. If you can make people laugh and yeah, like you get attention. And I obviously like that's the big, the main motive behind being a good uh, outgoing person or just having a good personality is 
people will like you, you'll get attention. And, and it really is a selfish desire to, to want attention from people, but it's natural and it, it's what people are designed to do. So if you're capable of, of making people laugh, although they're, you're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna be attracted to you and not just sexually, but just this person's awesome, you have the power to brighten someone's day. And that's something really important. And that's something that is undervalued, just being funny in the way that you can make that person laugh. You can make that person smile. That's a really good thing and, and, and developing that. But like getting back to the whole comfort thing, I notice like, especially girls, girls tend to be a lot more insecure than guys. And if you could like, and I, I if you can make, like just so much girl, some girl you meet like comfortable, especially with the, like I said, with the girl, I'm repeating myself, but that's a big thing. I've been saying bye to so many people here lately and something I've noticed, which I just noticed for the first time in my life, it kind of relates back to this is like so many people I said bye to, I was really good friends with it. And it's obviously, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm obviously going to hug them, whether they're a guy or a girl and I'm not going to hug a guy I don't really know that well, I'll be like, all right, see you, man, later, or, you know, shake his hand. If I'm really good friends with a guy, obviously I'm going to hug him. Like, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Unless he's not a huggy guy, then whatever. But for the most part, like, yeah, you know, I, I hug most of the guy, my guy friends that I left. I hug most of my girlfriends that left. Girlfriends, ugh, I hate that. I hate how that's like a pseudonym. Uh, pseudonym? I hate how that's a synonym for, like, significant other girlfriend, but, like, female friend, right? But something I noticed about people who, like, didn't know me that well and I didn't know that well, but, like, kind of knew them knew them from another person like this is mostly with girls because like i said like guys it's kind of weird if you have a guy that you don't really know but for girls even like they kind of want to be put at ease they want to be feel comfortable so even like even today i said i said bye to two girls um and one i knew well and one i didn't i didn't really know her but i like i kind of knew who she was and i was like oh like like I, I'm, le I'm leaving really soon so i probably won't see you again so i was like 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 go to hug them and I noticed this with like like three or four girls there that I I didn't know well and they I don't think they expected that I would hug them and I did kind of like putting them at ease they're like oh like 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 a surprise like a, a pleasant surprise like that they're you know it may, like it's that comfort level like you like like oh yeah okay cool we can hug like I'm comfortable with that it's like unexpected but it's just like and I don't want that to sound in like a like a like a Anything but like a friendly way. Like it was just a friendly gesture, friendly hug. But it's like I noticed, especially with girls, is like that comfort level is, is a big thing. People want to be made felt comfortable. When you give them a hug, say bye, it's, it's a nice gesture. It's a friendly gesture. And it's something powerful that, you know, like bye. Just something I, I just something I noticed, uh, which I never really had picked up on before. But it's just like a someone that's not expecting it. And you kind of go out of your way to like be like, yeah, like, okay, cool. Powerful thing. There is something to be said for being a good person and being becoming more confident this year, which is something I had to learn to do because you're single and in university, like there's a lot of guys, you got to compete for girls and stuff. You know what I mean? You got to be more confident. I think every, every guy has a, every guy kind of has a thing. If, if you're a bit younger, you may not understand, but every, like at the end of the day, every guy has a, has a thing to get laid. Okay. Um, so like some guys are just really old, like really, really like classic pickup artisty kind of guy, like just really, really charming and just, you know, charm the, charm the pants off a girl. Basically we, we all know a guy like that who just, you know, doesn't even have to be a super attractive dude, but just is really like good at making a girl comfortable, but making your girl want him. Right. And it's interesting to see so many guys have different angles like going about getting a girl to want them. Like there's a really, really nice guy. And I'm a nice guy. Like I, and honestly, at the start of the year, I realized like I'm a stereotypical nice guy, which is bad because like you get in that friend zone. I got friend zone once this year. It sucked. And then I was like, shit, like what did I do wrong? And I looked up. It's like you gave the girl too much attention and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So girls don't want attention. So it's weird to see that angle though because I'm a nice person and I just like to be nice to people. But I realized like if you want a girl to like you, you have to, like give her some attention, but then give her not like, then like kind of ignore her. It's weird, but people want what they can't have. And I don't even still believe that, but it, it seems to work, but just the different angles guys have. So like, that's just kind of like a general knowledge. I think now, like people just, 
most people, most guys I talk to say that, that like, you know, you just have to not care about the girl. Like, like the best advice I got from a guy was like, look at her. Like, if you're really interested in this girl, look at her like a girl that you're not interested to. Like you're kind of like not, she's not completely off the table and you don't, you don't want to like have anything to do with her. Are you, it's not like you don't want to have, to have anything to do with her, but you don't want to like date her and you're not like super interested in her. But treat that girl that you really are interested to like that other girl just for a bit. Like, like don't give them a lot of attention and don't like, like oh, whatever, like leave them and just be weird like that. And through doing that, like, I guess, I don't know. People want what they can't have. That's like a basic thing. But like beyond that, I don't know if, I think like, every guy's got an angle and whether it's like being a really like a gentleman or being like an asshole or being a really nice individual and just getting people to like you that way. Every guy's definitely got an angle for, for, and really it all comes down to sex. It, it, it really does. You know, you're, you're muscular, you're whatever, but really every guy out there and it's weird. Something actually I, I found, I found, this is one thing I really did find out about myself this year is I'm not a slut. I'd like <laughs> Patrick Smith. So I know someone's going to tweet this. Patrick Smith, 2015. Or, I'm not a slut, dash Patrick Smith, 2015. Yeah, most guys, like when I, everyone go, went to university, is like, oh my God, I can't wait to just be able to hook up with girls and all this stuff. So that was something I didn't like about hot university. That, that atmosphere of the hookup culture where just like meaningless sex. And it just like, it's something that it, it's just not for me. Like I just, I, I don't. Like, if I'm going to be involved with someone, I want to have feelings for them. And I want to be interested in them. I'm not saying I'm going to get married. I have to be married to them. Like, I don't care. But I I don't like hooking up with random girls. It's just something, like, everyone hyped up. And I became single. And all my friends were like, oh, yeah, you can do this now and all this stuff. And uh, it's just, like... Even like a guy asks you like, oh yeah, did you hook up with this girl? It's like, yeah, but like to me, it's like that meant nothing. Like it was, it was like a you know like whatever you did with that that girl, like it's just all right, you did that, and now there's nothing left. And to me, like I don't know, I just think hooking up stupid because if I'm gonna get involved with a girl for a night, like or even like not even a night, but just like at a party or like whatever happens, I'm not trying to get too. Um, detailed here but i just kind of want to talk about this because if you get like like whatever happens like you make out or you have sex or whatever there's either there's either two ways like you're just looking for like a, a casual thing where you get a little you get a certain amount of like a brief amount of pleasure out of it and then you want nothing to do with that girl ever again or it was really awesome and you're really into that girl and you want to get involved with her and if, if it just meant to be a hookup thing and you're like, oh, I really like you. And you're just like, oh, I just I just wanted to like, you know, whatever. Like that's, it's like, well, why, like why did I, and I, I just, the way I am, but like, I just, I'm not a slut. I'm not a slut. So I don't know. That's just, that's just something about me. You guys can watch my videos now knowing that I have learned over my year here at a university that I'm not a slut. I do not have sex with strangers. And I am proud of that. I am. Because most guys are like, oh, yeah, I got the kill. I have I have had the sex with this many girls. And, like, I would want to be emotionally attached to that person before I have too much closeness with them. Which I think is, I think there's a lot of guys out there like that. And they're kind of scared to, to admit it. Because our, culturally, we're not in that frame of mind where... There, 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 there's no nobility in not being a slut as a guy. If you, if you can have sex with any girl you want, like you're considered a stud and you're, you're a cool person and wow, you can't believe you banged her. There's not a lot of nobility in being, oh, I really love this girl. Unless you have an awesome girlfriend. If you have an awesome girlfriend, people will give you props on that. But for the most part, like there's not a lot, there's not a lot of uh, like people don't give you a lot of props for being in a relationship. Guys will give you props for having sex with a lot of girls. And I think there's a lot more guys out there than ca that care to admit. And I'm going to be, I'll be the first if you're watching this and you're like my age or a little bit younger, or older. I hope someone out there can agree with me that 
there is, there is a pressure to be in that mindset where you just want to have sex with the girl and you don't care about her feelings and you don't care about getting involved with her and she's just a piece of she's just a piece of um i don't want to say a piece of meat because that I, I hate that mentality too because girls are hot and they're nice to look at and attractive and yeah but at the same time like i, I don't want to just use a girl and then just kind of be done and like you know she used me and like that and I think there's a lot of guys out there that do really think that. I feel like there's a lot of guys who like to be in a committed relationship with a girl and feel comfortable with that person and love them and 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 respond to their needs and all and have a, a a healthy relationship. There's a lot of guys out there that are like that, but because of this pressure that society says for you got to be a stud and not even like, I mean, girls don't think that. Like girls, well, some girls do, but I think girls are more like that. Where like I want a guy that'll treat me right and stuff. Guys tend to not t- guys tend to be discouraged for thinking that way and it's a shitty thing because like if i have like i'll have a friend who'd be like oh did you hook up with that girl last night and i'll be like no like i didn't i didn't take her home because like i don't know her and i don't like that's i don't know it just it just to me it, it just feels weird and maybe that was because i was in a four relationship but i know there's some dudes out there watching this right now that are like preach it because I, I the few guys i've talked to that are like um Actually, I don't know if this is, I won't, I won't say the name, but I was actually talking with a YouTuber um, or just kind of like, like in, a, in a big group chat and I just kind of mentioned like, yeah, like, and I it was like with a couple like younger guys. So like, I feel like they, they, who weren't at university, so they weren't like introduced to that culture. The hookup culture is what it really is. But one of the guys who was in there is a little bit older than me and he has a girlfriend and, you know, I was like, man, like I really like, you know, it's my first year at university. I really don't like that. Like I'd way rather just have a girlfriend. He's like, me too, man. And when you connect with someone that, that has that mindset, it's really, it's really, it's really encouraging because it, it's one of those things. It's like not really talked about a lot. Like, like, oh, how many sex did you, how many girls did you have sex with this this year at university? I can think of like a multiple friends who asked me that question, and like, even if that number was like a hundred, which it's not, I wouldn't be proud of that. Like, I don't, I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. I'd be way more proud of like I found the best girlfriend ever. Like I have a friend actually. He uh, he goes he goes to, lives in Toronto and um, he's got a, just an, a wonderful girlfriend and they have a wonderful relationship and I am so happy for them and I'm so so much more impressed that they have been able to to establish that and and, and keep that going than one of my other friends who's had sex with a lot of girls. Like it's like okay cool you've had a bunch of meaningless encounters that lacking like love and and it's like yeah and people say oh you're a pussy because you know no like i just positive relationships are good and i like relationships but at the same time i don't want a relationship right now because i am too busy i am too busy making myself a better human being right kind of gets back to that whole thing of like it go it goes back to that that mindset of like you can become a better, be, get a better personality, be more going, more friendly. You can get better at that. That's kind of my whole like summer plan is I just want to better myself, right? And I feel like if I get into another relationship, I I would just stop that a bit. So I, I really don't want to get committed to anyone at this point because I want to work on my YouTube channel. I want to work on my body physically. I want to work on myself mentally. I want to work on my education. I really want to read a lot of books this summer. I'm going to read a lot of books this summer and hang out with my friends, but I just like, I, I don't think I want to be committed to anyone. Just, it's just good. Like I, that's another thing this, this semester, this year has taught me is, is it's okay to be on your own. A lot of people will jump from relationship to relationship with people that they don't necessarily want to be with to the full extent because they'd rather be with someone that's good enough than be on their own and that's a sad fact people would rather be with someone that's good enough than be on their own and i don't i don't subscribe to that mindset i i think i'm i'm a person i believe in going all in or not at all youtube if i'm gonna do youtube i'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities if I'm going to exercise, I'm not going to half-ass it when I'm at the gym. And I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to try to be an Olympic lifter because that's not a thing. And exercise is something that's kind of – it's kind of important, right? It's something that you need to have in your life. So it's kind of a bad example. But 
when I work out, I want to work out to the best of my abilities because that's what I like to do. I want to, I don't know, whatever I do, I want to do the best. And I don't want to be in a relationship with someone that's okay. Nah, if I'm dating a girl, like she's got to be awesome. And people, so many people I know, like they break up with their, their, their boyfriend or their girlfriend and a month later, they're already talking to someone. Not even a month later, they're talking to someone. A month later, they're dating. It's like, dude, become your own person. Because that's the thing. If, if you're always doing that, you're never going to become your own person. And then that's, you're lacking self-improvement. And I don't know, me, uh, just this year has been self-improvement. And, and with school, I think I maintained a pretty good GPA. First semester, I was at a 3.7 probably going to go down this year this semester just because i had two shitty courses and focused a bit more on youtube but still i think i'll probably be at like a 3.5 3.4 so i I, i'm I'm happy with that because my main thing is youtube right i want to go all in with youtube and i i I do school i go as much in as i can without sacrificing youtube which is bad but it's not like it's like it's like YouTube, school, and then like everything else, which is, is bad. But like they're like they're really close together. And I understand school is super important, but to me, like it's just something it like school is just something you've always done. It's just something that's always been there. It's kind of a norm now at this point. Whereas YouTube is something that's so significant and has so much potential, but only for a very short period of time. And eventually all you guys watching, like, if you're like, oh, I love Patrick's videos, you're not going to at some point. And maybe you'll be, like, reminiscent, like, oh, yeah, I remember watching Patrick's videos. Nice, but you're not always going to watch my videos. And I'm not always going to make videos. When I'm 40, I'm not going to be making videos. I might not be making videos when I'm 25. I'll probably be making videos when I'm 21, hopefully. But, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. The future is bright, ladies and gentlemen. I am self-employed now. And well, self employed for the next four months, and I am going to do my best to make good YouTube videos, stream regularly, communicate with you guys, get my body in the. Do I want to say that? Do I want to say I want to get the body, my body in the best shape I've ever been? Yeah. Yeah, the. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. If I'm saying that, I'm committing to that, okay? I'm going to commit to that right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to write that on my phone. Summer, like summer goals, okay? And I hate I hate setting lists for goals, but this is going to, like if you write it down on paper, it's, it's more likely to happen. So I'm just, for, I mean, obviously I'm just going to say YouTube, YouTube stuff because like I know, I, I know what I have to do with YouTube. It's not like, you know, do this. Just, just, conti- I just got to continue. I got to keep on keeping on and keep on improving my content. Um, get in the, the best shape of your life. All right. Deal. Summer goals, YouTube and get in the best shape of your life. All right. That's th- like, I'm setting that goal with you guys. Okay. Like come back to me and Come back to me in June if you're watching this, and come back to me in July, and even August maybe, and ask Patrick how's the health go, how's how's fitness going on for you? Okay, can we can we can you keep a hold of that? Because I will do my best, I really will. But I want someone to go back and be like Patrick, like how's this going for you? I promise you that. What is the best shape of your life? That's too vague. That's too vague. I gotta say. Um, so I'm going to say, AKA lean, I want to be leaner. And um, I'm going to say visible abs. I don't need a six pack, but visible abs where it's not, you look like, okay, yeah, he's got like, you know, he's got something going on. Uh, I don't need to be leanish, leanish crap. And um, visible abs, and this, this is what it's going to be based on flexibility cardio strength cool i just committed to that okay so i i will um the other thing is books i want to learn and i want to read a lot this summer i really want to just like do my best to to 
gain knowledge just about stuff. And I, I, I love to read at night. I love to read in the morning. So I think I'm going to do a lot of that this summer. Just like maybe try to read a, I hate to say read a book a week because that's a lot. That's a big commitment. But maybe read a book every 10 days. Is that a lot? I'm going to look into that. So the next two weeks, uh, I'm going to wrap this up, guys, because my, my mom's almost here. And like I said, I got to wrap all this stuff up. And I've been talking for two hours now. And this keeps failing. And this really better work. But um, the next two weeks, I'm going to be gone. So I have 12 videos scheduled. This one makes 13. Next week, I have to do episode 50 for the podcast, which will be like... Um, by the way, this isn't the end right now. So if you're trying to click off, because like, oh, he's done. No, this is not the end. I'm just... I'm just clarifying this. So I'm going to be um, gone for two weeks till May 4th or 5th is when I'll be returning. So I have videos scheduled. So it's going to be like, I'm, it's going to be exactly as it is, except I'm not going to be replying to comments and I'm not going to be tweeting. I'm probably going to delete my Twitter for two weeks. Um, and just like, just relax, just, just recharge the batteries. I've been going like all out for the last like seven months. So uh, just kind of relax because I'm going to be recharged and then I'm going to be full energy for YouTube for the next 16 weeks after that. Bringing you guys the best possible content I can, streaming hopefully three nights a week, and I'm getting into the best shape of my life while also reading books. All right, you heard it here first. That's the goal. Um, so I will uh, be doing the episode 50, with his, which is going to be with a couple people. I'm not going to name names, but uh, there's, there's some favorites. It's going to be a two, hour, two to three hour show. It's going to be good. And that's going to be next week. So this is Friday. You're watching this. It's really Wednesday, but I'm going to be uploading it on Friday. And then... I don't know the date, but the, the first May in Friday. And, um, it'll be May. It is the 24th the day you're watching this. So, yeah, it'll be like May, like April 30th, 29th, if there is. I, I don't know. It's going to be like episode 50. So, whatever the episode after this in a week's time when you're watching this, um, that's going to be episode 50. I don't know when I, where I'm even going with this. But, anyways, I'll be back like May 5th or so. And uh, I'm just going to start streaming and just going hard. And, and you get it. Um, I'm not a person who says I'm a person who does. So... I don't like to do that. I don't like to say my goals, but yeah, saying your goals is actually good. I just don't like to say, I'm going to go so hard on YouTube this summer. No, you'll watch me go hard on YouTube this summer and watch my videos. Anyways, guys, university was a growing experience for me overall. That's how I would finish that. University was a growing experience for me. Um... I made a lot of friends. I learned a lot about myself was the biggest thing this year. I just grew, I grew as a person. The day I came here was a very foggy day. Very, very foggy morning, August 29th. And I came through the fog. I don't want to say that, it sounds weird, but I came through the fog on a new journey in life. This morning, my last day here, my first year of university, was a foggy day and I look at that a little symbolically like I started one journey the same way I'm starting this one with with like an open mindset and excitement for the future and uh, as much as fake as I sound right now I am being really genuine excited for the future and, and really just just positive about 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 what's what's to come so 49 episodes in it, it, it's been fun um, the game is about to change though, and I am very excited. I, just keep going forwards, and and that that's all you can really do. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry that was short, but like I said, I've been trying at this for two hours, and I'm I'm glad I could get you something. Uh, yeah, my mom's gonna be here in like in like ten minutes, and I do not am not ready at all. Anyways, bye guys. I love you all. Thank you for watching. A little shorter episode, but. I was, I was on point the whole way through because I was already warmed up. So it, it kind of works with the same areas. Bye. I love you. Uh, see you next week, 50. And then see you May 5th, ladies and gentlemen. Mwah. Wait, no, that was a horrible kiss. I got to do a real kiss this time because I got the microphone. All right, ready? All right, bye, guys. I love you. Mwah.